All right, so um, step one for starting our linoleum block will be to come up with an image. So you've already brainstormed and come up with your idea. Now you're ready to actually draw the image on a piece of paper. You can use newsprint or any blank piece of paper. So I, I got my Granny Smith here. I have little butt dimples on it like a Granny Smith has. Um, so let's say I do even things like adding a stem and a leaf or, or whatever, right? So I actually like this the way it is. I want the leaf going this direction, which means I'm going to have to reverse this image because whatever I put on the block, it's going to print the other way around. So if I stick with it just the way it is, I'm going to end up with the leaf and the stem going in opposite directions and the reflection going in opposite directions. Maybe for your image, that's fine. You don't need to worry about it. But for me, I, I just like to reverse everything. So next step would be to put this against a window or on a light table. All right. So I'm just going to put this down on my light table so I can see the actual image on the other side. And I'm actually just tracing the same thing that I drew on the back side of my newsprint. So I've reversed my image. Now my stem is going the opposite direction which means I can actually flip it over to the original side where I had my original image. And I can actually shade that side. I really only need to cover where my lines are going to be. So now with my reversed image on the back side of my paper and my shading on the front side of the paper, I'm simply going to transfer this onto my block. Now this block already has something on it. Your block will be blank. It'll just be gray or it will be tan. Um, I'm going to use the corner of my page to line it up with the corner of the block. Um, that way I can put it in a very specific place on the block. So for you, you will have two different blocks. So you'll need to transfer the image twice, one on each block, lining it up along the edge. Now I just give it firm pressure to transfer the shading on the back side to my block. Place and just peel back to see what it looks like. A little light. All right. So now I have a light image at least. I can even trace it darker if I want. So I can use this to like darken up my image because I don't like how light it is. Put my little reflection spots and everything else. Now obviously for yours you're going to transfer that onto two diff different blocks. Um. <clears throat> All right, so that is how you get your image on your block.